How are you doing folks? What I've got for you today is a video review of Balsamic Mockups. Now this is a program for um, designers, developers and kind of end users to be able to design um, screen mockups and layouts for uh, would-be programs that they're developing uh, or websites for example or interfaces for an iPhone application, kind of anything which requires some, um, some mockups to be done beforehand, uh, whether it be kind of really detailed stuff or just throwing something up nice and quickly. So rather than just talking about it, I'm going to open the application up for you. As you can see, it opens up pretty quickly. Um, and I'll firstly go through the interface. Along the top, we have all the interface items, which because we have all selected in the menu, we can actually see all the elements we can include in our mockup. Um, we can see the biggest elements, we can see buttons that we can use, uh, common elements such as uh, links, text, containers such as browser windows, um, layout in terms of kind of um, horizontal divider bars, tab bars, um, markup in terms of once you've done your mockup, uh, whether you want to put any kind of pointer arrows to certain elements of your mockup and kind of put text there so once you send it to your developers um, or the rest of your team they understand the, the design that you've done for them. Um, and then we've got things like media, uh, so we can have cover flow, uh, videos, slider bars, and obviously we've got text. Um, so rather than kind of just explaining what the interface does, I think the best way to kind of show you what Balsamic is good for is just to do a demo of, let's say we want to do a mock-up of a website. So we're going to go to containers and browser window. So we just drag that from the top into here um, and we'll call the website um, twitter.com forward slash on italic. Okay. And as you can see that that updates in there immediately and we can drag on the bottom left here to actually change the size of the website so we make it a nice wide website and so now we've got the basis here and as you can see you didn't have to mark up any of the elements like the home button the, the back and the forward buttons the search buttons this is all pre-done for you um, as part of the templates that come along with, Bal with balsamic um, so what we want to do now is say we want to put some tabs along the left hand side so let's say the first tab is called home, the second tab let's call it products, the third tab should be let's say about us, and the fourth tab is contact us. So this is what you want your website to look like. So as you can see here it's renamed all the tabs here it's specific to how you want it designed so you can move it around nice and simply. And if you see also when I'm moving this around if you can see the line on the left hand side that appears it kind of locks certain dimensions for the website so it's easier rather than kind of having it mispositioned all over the place it actually locks it for you in the best place that it thinks it should go so let's spread it out a little bit here so what do I want on my website I want um, video so we'll move this into the middle here and let's go to media we'll do pull webcam from here but it's basically video so we'll move it up here make it a little bit bigger and I want some play, pause and forward buttons so you're going to put that in front of there, so basically that's the video so let's get some text here and say almonds video montage, I probably spelled that wrong but never mind we'll just position that, and you can see as well the lines just reappeared there so it kind of locks along a straight line uh, because that lines up with the bar on the video. Um, so do this. And then what you can also do is you can see a little menu prompt pop up here, which lets you basically change whether it's bold, so it lets you play with the text, uh, change the layering features, or say for example duplicate. So I'm going to click duplicate, and it'll just copy that straight away for me. And I can line it up with the old one if you can see the new lines appear. And what I'll do is I'll just paste some text in here and I will change the size of this so you can actually see the text as you can see as you change the size it repositions the text for you so it will suit uh, the layout most appropriately so we're going to go there so as you can see now what I have is a web page I've got the menu system and I've got the home page actually designed and this took what two minutes so if you think about rather than having to sit down sketch it scan it in or even redo it again on the PC um, this is basically just a way of kind of almost digitally sketching mockups uh, with pre-made templates so you don't have to do everything yourself um, and it will also help you kind of get ideas about how you'd like to do it in terms of um, if you, you, you see here that 
you've done it with tabs along the left but you don't really like it with tabs along the left so you can change that menu structure um, and it will allow you to do that as opposed to if you're drawing it down or if you're creating it in something like Photoshop it takes a little bit longer because you have to create all the elements yourself whereas with Balsamic you have all the elements pre-made for you and there's also a community section on their website where the actual community contributes preset templates as well so you can download them and add them to your Balsamic library um, so you can see here there's a hell of a lot of um, preset um, formats and templates so you can play around a lot with it uh, you can download from their website which I'll link in the sidebar a free version of Balsamic um, to actually have a play around with it. what that will do is it will allow you to save one template um, and I think that's basically that that's enough to kind of let you have a go with the application itself and what you can just do is delete that template um, and recreate another template um, but obviously buying the full version gives you full access to all the features and it also lets you save as many as you like um, so I think I'm not quite sure how much it comes in at, but you'll be able to see on the website. I think it's it's close to around uh, fifty, sixty dollars. It may be a little bit more, um, but for what it kind of allows you to do in a very short time, if you're working in a team or if you're making your own website and you'd like to just throw up a few mockups first and see what people think or kind of see what you think once you actually see it on the screen, uh, I think Balsamic is a very useful tool for that. Um, there are a couple of things that I'd like to see change in terms of the interface could be a little bit better, um, purely kind of just polished off, but that's from my perspective because I've got a background in design, I'm a bit picky about that, but normally it wouldn't really be that much of an issue because I haven't really come across any bugs uh, for, as such, uh, just kind of interface quirks that I would change myself, but uh, that's just me. So uh, that has been a brief uh, review of Balsamic mockups and also an example of how how you can use it and what you can use it for. If you've got any questions, uh, drop them down in the comments section uh, and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, or, of course, you could get in touch with the developers. Um, also, uh, if you like the video, then obviously feel free to uh, rate. Or uh, if you're not one of my subscribers, then obviously as well, feel free to subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.